Have you ever wondered what it's like to own a flying car? Well, the future might just be bright for you, as the latest developments out of US-based Jetoptera are bringing us one step closer to your sci-fi fantasy being a reality. Jetoptera and their extended line of fluidic propulsion-powered aircraft are revolutionizing the world of bladeless aviation options. Their technology is decades ahead of our current helicopter and aircraft designs, and many are buzzing about the opportunity to use this propulsion system in everything from drones, military spacecraft, and even personal transportation. Jetoptera still has a long way to go before they are ready for consumers, but that doesn't stop us from taking a closer look and dreaming of the future of flight and travel. To begin, we have to discuss the difference between an eVTOL, a VTOL, and a STOL, because the Jetoptera J2000 has an element of each of them going on. An eVTOL is an electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft system, while a VTOL is also a vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, but without the added bonus of being environmentally friendly. Traditionally, an aircraft is usually one or the other. There are not a ton of hybrids in the aviation department community, but the Jetoptera J2000 is actually built to run on either a traditional gas field system or an electricity field system. This is for a very specific reason, according to the company. For now, they have optimized and suggested a gas field system for the J2000. Not because they want to be reliant on fossil fuels, but because they don't believe that a fully electric system can be truly successful in aviation until the battery technology on board improves. Jetoptera isn't the only company battling a lack of battery innovation. Many electric and electric hybrid transportation companies have spoken out about the inefficiency of modern battery technology. This is fair as, in comparison, the fully electric VTOL option, built by Joby Aviation's range, is only 150 miles, while able to reach speeds up to 200 miles per hour, which is due to a lack of battery efficiency and storage capacity. Effectively, you could travel less than an hour before running out of power. This is why Jetoptera built the J2000 to be a VTOL, but left design features in place that will make a fully electric conversion a simple fix in the future when battery tech catches up to aviation innovation. So that explains the EV toll and the V toll. So what in the world is a S toll? A S toll is a short takeoff and landing aircraft. This differs from V toll systems because while V toll can take off from a stable position and rise straight into the air, a S toll can nearly achieve this but needs at least a short runway to achieve flight. The J2000 actually can accommodate both, with the S-Toll offering faster liftoff speeds. The Jetoptera J2000 features a blameless, fluidic propulsion system that can accommodate VTOL and take off much like a traditional small aircraft. This brings us to what truly sets the Jetoptera J2000 apart from most other VTOL aircraft. Their innovative bladeless fluidic propulsion system might be a mouthful to say, but it is an even bigger mouthful to explain. So we'll try to make it easy on you. While you may have never seen an aircraft like the Jetoptera J2000, you might have encountered Dyson's line of bladeless fans and hair dryers. When you look at the J2000, you can't help but be drawn to the back wing that features the sort of oval-shaped thrusters surrounded by a massive, rounded, rectangular frame. Now, imagine that the smaller thrusters are essentially two Dyson bladeless fans that have been placed on a frame that allows them to tilt to achieve thrust and takeoff. While we are not saying that two Dyson fans are the only thing that stands between you and a DIY plane, we are saying that the base propulsion system is remarkably similar. This airframe configuration is incredibly different from most VTOL and EVTOLs on the market. The J2000 does not have any rotors, as most traditional VTOLs would. Jetoptera is thinking more space-age tech than streamlined helicopter tech, and the innovation is clear from the design. Additionally, the J2000's design is heavily based on a flying car design methodology, more so than a commercial aircraft style design. It truly feels like something out of the Jetsons in a sense, as it seems to be the missing link between the cars we drive on the road and the hover cars capable of flight that modern sci-fi just loves. But Jetoptera doesn't want you to think of them as an aircraft manufacturer. They are much more motivated by the propulsion system than the finished commercial product. To really dive into how this technology works, we can go straight to the source. Essentially, in each of those Dyson-like thrusters, a radial impeller rotates and causes an air vortex, much like a helicopter rotor would. But without the massive rotor blades, the J2000's innovation comes from turning their air vortexes into thrust that can move through the innovative wing design to achieve liftoff. This is why that tilting mechanism and massive rear wing design is crucial. The J2000 must work with the air around it, 
to be able to truly break free from gravity. This is why the CEO of Jadoptera has said that the tech in J2000 is extremely compact, can do VTOL, has a smaller footprint than a helicopter, and flies a lot safer. While the CEO Andre Avule believes that this technology will revolutionize the aerospace and transportation industries, he admits that the J2000 is not the best at everything. It's actually more of a novel design with new abilities. But regardless, that hasn't stopped government and military contractors from becoming excited by the prospects of aircraft that require little to no runway to achieve takeoff. In 2020, Jadoptera partnered with Honeywell Aerospace to begin to bring this technology to the defense industry. Since the aircraft is scalable to hold anywhere from 100 pounds to 6,000 pounds, there are implications of both unmanned aircraft flight as well as manned aircraft flight. The design also enables the Jadoptera J2000 aircraft to be able to fly at speeds from 60 knots up to 400 knots, which allows a workable range of speed. This speed is what actually makes this technology innovative when compared to the traditional helicopter. While defense helicopters are likely better at hovering and staying in one spot, they lack the speed needed for long distance travel and speedy arrivals. But the thrust on the J2000 makes it both faster than a helicopter but more space efficient than a traditional plane. In this way, government contractors and private pilots alike hope the J2000 can offer a taste of the best of both worlds. Today, Jadoptera is still tweaking the design for efficiency and going through extensive testing with the FAA and other aviation certification companies. While they haven't been given the certification to achieve commercial flights yet, they estimate the next five years will be a realistic timeline to achieve these certifications. This puts them right on track to compete with competitors Archer Aviation and Joby Aviation that are both working on similar timelines to develop their own EV tolls. While you might not be using a Jadoptera J2000 to cut down on your morning commute yet, you can definitely count on seeing more of their blades fluidic propulsion systems in the future. Not only is it likely the closest we will get to a truly sci-fi hovering vehicle, but they also offer a lot in terms of what the future of aviation will look like. When airports and air travel first became popular, it is actually a little known fact that many people hated airports as they took up a ton of space, were loud, and were an eyesore on communities. With VTOL and eVTOL technology taking off, Pun intended, we can expect to see less traditional airports with runways being built, and more of what is called a vertiport being built. A vertiport is similar to an airport, but is optimized for VTOL technology and takes up a much smaller footprint. On top of that, since the Jadoptera J2000 is bladeless, they are actually incredibly quiet compared to a traditional planar helicopter that relies on rotary blades to create thrust and achieve takeoff. All around, VTOLs and EVTOLs will likely dramatically shape the way we think about short-distance air travel. The next five years are shaping up to bring massive changes to the industry. So while Jadoptera and others are racing to get air clearance from the FAA and other licensing bodies, the aviation community is already beginning to adapt to the rapidly approaching future of air taxis, flying cars, and even private aircraft that no longer need to be stored at an airport due to space constraints. We don't yet know for certain if the Jadoptera tech will deliver on the massive changes they hope to enact in the aviation community. We do know that plenty of people are beginning to take notice and get excited by what the future may hold for us. Would you buy an affordable personal VTOL? Do you think that Dyson will release their own version of this technology? Still confused about how this all works? Comment down below and we can get to talking about the wonderful world of aviation and technology. But until next time, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to stay up to date on the latest technology every week. Thank you.